Before I start making a lot of noise, so you can't hear me anymore, I thought I'd run through the setup for the data logging that I want to do. So here's the bike on the dyno and it's connected to an exhaust system and pump and muffler up in the attic. And the bike is my 914cc fuel injected Norton. It has full engine management on it. It runs a 80 millimeter bore and a 91 millimeter stroker crank. The injectors are here and fire through the rear cover of the air cleaner and down the throats. Here is a vacuum powered fuel pump and that circulates the fuel between the backbone tube and the fuel tank so that the fuel in the backbone tube doesn't get hot. The main pump is in the backbone tube and it's accessible from the back. Here's the fuel filter. And here's the fuel pressure regulator. And there at the back of that valve cover you can see the top end of a thermocouple. That goes down into a hole that's right between the combustion chambers to pick up the highest temperature in the head. Here on the back of the barrels is a uh, detonation sensor and right above that is a barrel temperature sensor. You see the yellow wire that goes to it. And here is one of the thermocouples for the exhaust. And there's one on each side. Up here in the fairing, the finned box is the engine management control computer. And above that is the ignition coil driver. Here in the bottom of this exhaust collector is an oxygen sensor and a sampling hose. That runs up to this little water separator on a pump which feeds it into the gas monitor here. And then there's an oxygen sensor controller here and then the dyno controller. Here's the screen for the 
gas analyzer and it monitors CO, CO2, hydrocarbons, NOx, and oxygen. Here is the oxygen sensor for the engine management system. This provides feedback for the fuel injection control. There you see my little fitting off of the oil tank vent. That has a little hose that goes down to the swing arm pivot. And just enough oil gets down that to keep the swing arm pivot nicely lubricated. And here is the engine management monitoring screen. It's presently set up to monitor engine speed, throttle position, engine barrel temperature, air fuel ratio, engine map, the pulse width for the fuel injectors, the EGO correction, and the intake air temperature. I can also bring up one of about 50 other dials to show all kinds of stuff. Here's the dyno control screen and it gives us speed which is uh, miles per hour and then engine speed and the SAE power and SAE torque which will be reading out but they will not be accurate since I'm going to be controlling the load manually and I'll be using this foot pedal so I can simulate hills and wind resistance here in front of the bike is a big fan it will provide a nice stiff breeze to keep things cool and here is the temperature monitoring screen and it reads out air fuel ratio from the sensor in the exhaust collector and engine RPM and cylinder head temperature exhaust temperature left exhaust temperature right and oil temperature from the sensor that's in the oil tank and that's right there goes through the cap there is the idle speed control motor it allows air into the throttle body to control the engine's idle down here is the new voltage regulator since I got rid of the one that used to sit here still have to repaint that
But that pretty much covers the setup and I'm ready to button this thing up and make some noise.